I suppose it's also uh, one of the first landscapes where our perception of landscape and our understanding of place was changed by the Romantic movement. So you move from um, the sort of realm of, of brutality and, and landscape being very problematic and uh, to something else, to the sublime, the romantic, you know, notions of, of who we are in relation to place. Um, and because it's the seat of that movement, you know, you, you end up sort of refracting your own ideas through that grand notion. So it's a place with multiple layers, multiple artistic layers as well. But then, it's, as you say, it's drawn in artists from all over the world, Chinese, Japanese, you know, they've all responded to the landscape differently and uh, in similar ways as well. So in a way, I'm just adding to, you know, the, the grand conversation about the Lake District, which is also a conversation about place and belonging, which you could have probably in many other places everywhere around the world. I do. I enjoy reading the work in public. I occasionally... Um, answering questions can be a little bit difficult, possibly because I always feel like I'm not so very in touch with my own process, my own writing process. Um, so I, f I feel like I'm trying to come up with an accurate answer to questions a lot of the time. And I feel like there's a bit of a shortfall there. But I do very much enjoy reading, reading the work. Um, that's a nice experience. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very bad. <laughs> I love reading my own work. No, it's another dimension to it, and often I'm working with the ear and mind and a sort of poetic sense of language, so, you know, to be able to vocalise that, it's, it's, um, I feel like it's adding to the work. Very interesting. My workshop was on the short story form. Um, I've recently published a collection of short stories, so that tied in. And I we looked at an example, uh, a short story, and discussed it. And you realise that even the very best short stories are, can be divisive. Some people will not like them for some certain reasons, and um, just that it's a very, very difficult form to pull off. And it, you know, you're required to do an awful lot in in the short in a short story. Um, you would expect the novel, you know, to be the most difficult form, but actually, I think it is the shorter form. Um, and people's opinions about the story that we read were, again, very wide-ranging, and the reading on different levels was phenomenal. I mean, people really read very closely and, and have a great analytical faculty. Um, and I felt like I was learning a lot about the short story from other people's responses. Obviously, everything can be explored through the novel form, but a short story is a discipline which I think also makes me improve my work. I think the areas where I'm a weaker writer, I have to respond to those with the short story, and it just raises, raises the quality slightly, I hope, anyway. Which is awful, that makes it sound like a gymnasium of, of literary exercises or something. Um, yeah, but I love writing short stories. Spiritual home. <laughs> no, I, I suppose I would. Um, I still have family in the Lake District and I, I retain a connection with the place. So I'm there quite often and, um, you know, still writing about the North and still interested in how the North can be used um, in multiple ways, you know, multiple literary explorations. I don't find it a limitation at all. I think it's a platform from which m most subjects can be tackled. So... Um, and I still feel there's a big question mark over the region as well. It's a place that I'm interested in because it has unknowable qualities which I'm trying to work out myself, even though I'm from that place. So I think it will always, there will always be the, you know, the current of the north running through my work.